but I just want to make a public apology. I just want to make a public apology. Excuse my energy earlier. Excuse my. Excuse my uh, aggressive behavior. Um, I feel like, you know, as a black man, sometimes we all get cornered and then we jump out of emotions and, and not really fully thinking logical. So I think as a man, you know, I got to admit to me not really thinking logical. I'm just sometimes my heart, like I let my heart speak for me and I got to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? I got to stop letting my heart speak for me because at the end of the day, We got to stick together, bro. At the end of the day, we got to stick together, man. We don't even need to be trying to tear each other down, bro. We don't need none of this right now, bro. Like, like my inner, my inner rapper, my inner, like, lyricist is like, go after these niggas. But then, like, I have to think on the, on the grand scale. That's what they fucking want, bro. Like, some G shit, my nigga, like, niggas about to build a wall, bro, <laughs> like, niggas about to build a wall, ain't no telling what niggas gonna do when that wall up, like, you know, some G shit, I don't really even trust people like that, like, my nigga, like, the last thing we need to be doing is fucking making diss tracks and battling each other, niggas about to build a wall, my nigga, like, this might be the grand organ harvest, like, you feel me, like, my once, maybe, like, Maybe, like, they know we got, like, a protector somewhere, and once them niggas start killing us, he gonna come and save us, but they gonna build a wall to... Man, nobody knows what's about to happen, bro. So the last thing, you know, in my mind, I feel like we should be doing is going at each other, bro. We don't need that right now. Like, none of us need that right now. I think we should all stick to making music, but we should change the way we make music, and that's one thing I could say, like... Everybody should really start changing the way they make music, bro. We should all start putting out a very positive message, man, and kind of just spreading awareness, you feel me? Like, spreading awareness to what's about to come and what's about to happen, bro, because at the end of the day, united united we stand, divided, be, divided we fall. Wait, hold on. All right, Zayden, pause this real quick and just play as ABC's from. United we stand, divided we fall. So I don't even want that type of. It's okay. He's about to start. I don't want. I don't want that type of energy right now, bro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell myself, hey, daylight man, you don't want no smoke, and I don't, bro. I don't want no smoke with nobody, bro. Like smoking is bad for you as it is, bro. Like nobody don't want. No, I don't want no smoke. I don't want none of that, bro. I don't want nothing. I just want us all to fucking get on the right path and push push for unity dog push for peace amongst all of us like we all got to get out this like you feel me like and it's crazy because as as woke as i am and as conscious as i am Dad, I yes see this. all right play his video play his video first as woke as i am and as much as i understand right After this done, like I still fall victim to this fake ass program that they installed in me to where sometimes i do be wanting to be the best Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do sit there and go, I'm the fucking best, my nigga, and ain't no nigga gonna do nothing about it. Sometimes I do feel like that. But then I be like, I'm the best at what? Rapping? Is that something to really be proud of? Like, is that something to, to really be proud of? Like, rapping, nigga? I don't want to be no fucking best at rapping. Like, I don't want, I don't want nobody to be like, yeah, he was a rapper. That's weak. Like, my nigga, like, I'm trying to be a fucking dog. Like, I'm trying to make a difference in the human, like, existence. Like, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to go down as a Tesla or a fucking, like, somebody that made a change in the human history. Like, I want to be known for some shit like that. Like, I want to go down like, yo, Devon Campbell, like, the guy that, like, shifted the entire world. You get what I'm saying? My nigga, I ain't trying to be known as though. He was a great rapper. That was it. Because rappers don't get no respect in the real world. He's not even watching it. He's watching now. No, he's looking at me. 
Cause you talking. Let them watch it. Let them watch a couple of episodes and you can watch. No, what is when this Rappers don't get no respect on the main skill. You know what people go, oh he a rapper. You automatically lose credit in the real world when you a rapper. You lose credit. Oh, he a rapper. They don't know no better. Look, bro. I don't care about that shit, bro. I don't care about being no fucking rapper. Like, when you even... I even got to start... Like, I had to really sit back and tell myself, look at the agenda these people pushing. Why am I even talking about these people? Why, like... I almost got persuaded into the negative aspect of that world. It almost got me. I can't allow that shit, bro. I can't allow that shit. I don't even want to be a rapper, bro. And, like, if you even listen to, like, the newer music that I'm making, I don't even want to be a rapper, dog. I, I want to be, like, like, fucking, like, a speaker. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, dog. Like, I don't even know what this music that I'm making is, bro. Like, I just want to fucking tell people what I got to say and make it sound good and make it, like, suitable for them to grasp, bro. Like, I don't, I don't want to, bro. Like, like, on some G shit, like, sometimes I be sitting here thinking, like, what are what is other ways I could reach the mass? Because I really ain't, I, I don't want to be a rapper, bro. I don't care about music like that. I don't care about... Battle rap, I don't care about none of that shit, bro. I don't care. I just do it because I know it's a, It's like right now with the knowledge I possess, it's kind of the only way to reach the mass, bro. You feel me? I like. I don't really know any other way to reach the mass, bro. Like as, as, as crazy as I got a lot of information, I don't really know how to reach the mass like the mass of black people and and one reason why I say that is based on the simple fact is the way they reach the mass is through music so it's like I only do music and I only do rap to combat the way they use the weapon on us bro that's it like that's the only reason I do no see when you do stand up doing stand up comedy is just like rapping once you get labeled a stand-up person, you a stand-up nigga. Like, nobody going to fully take you serious. It's kind of the same way. Like, Eddie Griffin could get online and drop every fact in the world. Niggas just laugh. <laughs> that was funny. Cat Williams get online and drop the most craziest facts in the world. <laughs> Yo, you seen that new Cat Williams nigga? That nigga would have jokes. Bro, like... I get it, man. Like, I just, like, I'm figuring out how to do this shit, bro. I'm figuring out how to get this message to the people. So last night, me, my boy John Bourne, and my other boy, uh, we was having this conversation. Still my beast, my other boy was having this conversation. Like, dog, like, have you ever thought about how many niggas rapping? Play your stuff, Zeta. I did. He's about to cry, so play it again. Have you ever thought about, like, how many niggas rapping? And you ever think about this? How many black up and coming kids trying to get their shit on the radio, right? It's you know how many niggas out here going to label meetings and fucking trying their best fucking rapping in competitions, all type of shit, trying to get their music on the radio? How many fucking rappers is like trying to figure out how radio waves work? How many rappers are like online, like, yo, how the fuck do electri electricity and protons pump through a fucking radio tower into a car? Like, how many rappers actually thinking about that? None. You get what I'm saying? Like, how many people actually thinking about, do I even got to go through their radio? Nigga, I can make my own. Right? No niggas not thinking about that, bro. That ain't even a thought. That ain't even a thought in the rap community, right? That ain't even a thought at all, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the type of wave I'm on, bro. That's the type of wave I'm on. The type of wave I'm on, I'm like, my nigga, why we got to go through majors, my nigga? Why, why, why yay or why Jay or why Nas? Or why one of these niggas, or Snoop, or one of these niggas who've been in the rap game for 20 plus haven't built their own radio tower. It seems a lot of people do believe. 
I'm starting to think, damn, is it do they do these higher up niggas got a fucking nigga like Winter Soldier in the back just waiting for these niggas? Like, I wish you would go get him. Like, I be I be sitting back thinking like, why they haven't built their own radio towers? Why they haven't built their own car stereo? Why they haven't built their own car? Why it ain't no, like, why it ain't no black nigga watch? Like, why everybody buying Rolexes and shit? Why we ain't buying the Jason? Hey, bro, I just copped that new Taekwon. Nigga, you got the Taekwon watch? Yeah, nigga, this shit cost 8000 Nigga, the new Taekwon watch, 8000 Like, you get what I'm saying, my nigga? Like, bro, like. Like right now, bro, they just dropped Louis Vuitton headphones, nigga, and niggas about to go pay a thousand for them, bro. Like, niggas, bro, niggas don't even know who Louis Louis V is. Niggas don't know who King Louis the Third is, my nigga. I mean, King Louis the fucking what that fifth? Niggas don't know who King Louis dog. Like, bro, like niggas is rocking the nigga who destroyed, bro. This shit, wop, my nigga. Sometimes I just want to give up, bro. I swear, bro, sometimes I just be wanting to just quit. Like, look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> Turn him over, Red. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, bro, I just be wanting to just quit, bro. Like, niggas don't even know who Louis V is on top of, like, bro, I, I just be wanting to quit, bro. Like, I be just wanting to jump off a bridge, but, like, I be like, damn, these niggas probably waiting for me in the heaven thing. Like, oh, nigga, you ain't just about to quit that easy to bring your bitch ass over here. Bro. It's like, bro, it's fucked up, bro, when you really, really sit here and think about all this shit. So it's like, my nigga, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just figuring out life, bro. I'm figuring out life. I want to do better for people. I want people to do better. I want people to understand themselves. I want to understand myself. I want to understand my purpose. I want everybody else to understand their purpose. And that goes for all races, bro. That don't go for black, white, whatever, right? I go for every fucking race, bro. Every race, bro. I just want everybody to understand why they're here, bro, and what we're here for. What can we do to make this fucking world a better place, bro? That's literally it, man. I don't want no problems with nobody. I don't want no smoke with nobody. I don't want no rap beef. I don't want no real beef. Bro. I don't want nothing with nobody, bro. I just want peace, love, and unity amongst all of the people that's here watching everybody else in the world, bro. But one thing I do, I can say this. You niggas don't want no... No, I'm fucking with y'all. But no, one thing I can say, bro, is like this. When I die, right? When I die, I want people to say, hey, Daylight, Daylight was like a valuable person to our generation. I don't want to just die and be like, Oh, he, the nigga, you know, he died. He was just a rap nigga. Hey, they didn't play his shows for him. Right? When I die, they didn't play his shows. When I die, I don't want niggas to be like, yo, yeah, you know, just another rap nigga that died, you know. Like, when I die, I want it to be something, bro. I want it to mean something. I want it to be like, yo, yo, that man, bro. Like, you get what I'm saying? That man did so much for us, or that man did this. Like, I want to stamp my name on this planet, bro. I don't want to stamp my name in no rap game. Zayden, what are you doing, man? I'm finding it. I wanted to watch that documentary. You can watch it when he's done. When is he done? All right. So that being said, man, I love all y'all niggas, man. Y'all stay up, keep y'all vibes up, keep y'all energy up. Don't let these demons and devils distract y'all, bro. Well, I actually fuck with the devil, bro. Look at y'all, y'all niggas like, what? The niggas in the what? I'm going to tell you why y'all should always fuck with the devil, bro. The devil told me some wild shit, bro, yesterday. He was like, hey, bro, I ain't bad as you think I am. What you talking about, bro? First of all, how you get in the house? He was like, nigga, I'm an angel. What the fuck you think, nigga? I'm not a demon, bro. I'm still an angel. Hey, bro. I'm like, so what happened, bro? He was like, hey, bro, I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. God lied on me, G. So what happened was, G, he had a pack of hot Cheetos, G. I ate the last one, G. 
and, and I ain't really tell him. He he lying about the whole story. He said I was being defiant and all type of shit. No, gee, I just ate the last pack of hot Cheetos. He kicked me out of heaven and all type of fuck nigga shit, bro. And I, you feel me? And I'm like, wait, what? I want to see this. Bro, over a pack of hot Cheetos. My nigga, why you think heaven, why you think hell hot, my nigga? He was like, oh, you want hot shit, huh? You want, you into hot shit, huh? Then he made hell all hot shit full of hot Cheetos and flaming hot Doritos and all type of shit. The nigga sent me to hell and all type of shit. Now I'm just like, man, you feel me? So I just want to let you know, G, like... You feel me? Like, I ain't even bad as you think I am, G. You feel me? It's just a bag of hot Cheeto. You feel me? I was just like, damn, bro. What kind was it? Was it super hot ones or the lemon ones? They was the lemon ones, G. Damn, God. You know, God say he a jealous God, so if you if he see you eating some of his favorite things, he gonna do things. You can't eat none of God's favorite things. God probably came in the muck, came back in the heaven, the kitchen of heaven, was like, who ate my cinnamon toast crunch? Lucifer had a little glitter on the side of his face. Bring your ass here, nigga. I know you ate it. Don't lie. Lucifer was like, I swear to God I didn't eat it. Nigga, I know you ate it, you lying son of a bitch. Don't tell me that God didn't have cinnamon toast crunch. Don't don't lie. God got everything before it came out. He had it when it was first thought of. God had everything before it was even thought of. So don't, they didn't. Why are you not playing his favorite shows, boy? Oh, give him this shit, Red. Let him play with that. Here. Here. Hey, hey. He don't want it. All right, y'all. I'll get back to y'all.